Barbers, stylists, hairdressers of Reddit, has anyone ever sat in your chair with a head so nasty that you didn't even want to touch them? What is your horror story? Mystery of stuff. This was while I was still in school. Dirty looking woman came in needing her hair washed and probably cut too. She had open sores all over her face and neck, which meant she probably had them on her head too. Her hair was completely dreaded into one huge dread from how dirty and tangled it was. I was in the middle of putting conditioner on her when she informed me she was HIV positive for over 15 years. One of the first shops I worked in there were two individuals who would regularly come in for cuts. Both of them were physically so dirty it changed their skin tone, and they absolutely reeked of cat piss. Being close to them made my eyes water, and it was extremely difficult to breathe as the smell of ammonia was just plain overwhelming. We never turned them away, and we were always as polite as we could be. But fuck if those haircuts didn't feel like they lasted three hours. Long time ago but I had to wash and cut a teenager that hadn't washed his hair in what looked like months. Salon policy was to wash after a men's cut and the smell was awful. After his cut, I tried to wet his hair in the shampoo bowl and the water just ran off his hair because of all the oil buildup. I had seen a lot during my years as a stylist but that was the worst experience. Older ladies that came in for a wash and a water wave that had a helmet of hairspray of four weeks old was pretty normal. Had one client that had really bad psoriasis and no hairdresser wanted to help him. He was also very ashamed, so we made the deal that he could come in after closing time. It was really bad and most of the equipment, combs, clips ECT, were disposed instead of disinfected. My husband is a barber, one day he had a guy come in with dreads, wanting them all shaved off. He parted his dreads, looked at his scalp and noticed it was green. He touched it and saw it ripple. Asked the guy when he'd last washed his hair, he replied about three years ago. My husband realized the guy's whole scalp was covered in a layer of pus. Sent him straight to an E to have it drained and treated with antibiotics. My sister is a hairstylist and got scabies once from a kid. Apparently the mom knew the kid had it too, just didn't tell my sister until they were leaving. Yuck. My dad was a hairdresser before he passed. When I was young, I had really bad psoriasis on my scalp. My dad has been the only one to ever cut my hair, passed three months ago, and I can't bring myself to get my hair cut even though it's desperately needed, in my 25 years on this planet, and I can remember a few times sitting in his chair where he was literally combing and cutting out large chunks of dead, flaky skin. It was the most embarrassed I have ever been in front of him, because no matter how many topical remedies I tried, I couldn't get it to go away. Eventually grew out of the psoriasis, but I still hold on to this moment as one of my favorite moments, where the love my dad had for me really shone through. My mother was a hairdresser in the 1960s for Vidal Sassen. During the time of the beehive. Customers wouldn't wash their hair for weeks, they just keep spraying it to keep it in place as it was such a complicated do. This meant a lot of fleas, lice, and on one occasion cockroaches that had to be washed out. For some reason this never bothered my mother all that much, but hearing about it made sure I never, ever wanted any kind of hands-on customer service job. My hairdresser says she had one lady who brought her kid in for haircuts, and the mom never brushed the kid's hair ever. So my hairdresser had to spend upwards of 45 minutes trying to comb the knots out of a squirming kid's hair. I think she eventually fired the client because it wasn't worth the cost of a kid's haircut to spend the better part of an hour just on combing. Way back in the day, my mom was a hairdresser. She told me a story once of this guy coming in who had birds hit all over the top slash back of his head. Guess he got pooped on and didn't notice or something. I once had to turn a lady away after she booked in for hair extension removal. The micro-bonded type your stylist should tell you last three months maximum nobody told this lady. They had been in for seven months. My boss booked her in with me, the extensions weren't done in my salon. I took one look at it and told her I couldn't help. There was a chunk of hair about six inches wide that was matted with bits of hair glue, not what we use, poking out. 
To me her options were shave it or cut it almost to the scalp. Some hairdressers shouldn't be allowed. My cousin is a hairdresser. One time a woman brought in her special needs son. He had some hygiene issues and his ears were covered in blackheads. While all the other hairdressers recoiled in horror, my cousin gritted her teeth and gave that kid the best haircut she could. I really respected my cousin after that. Not a hairdresser or my story but. When my sister was young, elementary school aged, she didn't like to brush her thick hair and it was always a source of grief. My mom took her to get her hair cut and after the hairdresser tried to brush her hair for a minute she said that, sister, needed to brush it herself. So my sister had to sit in the lobby with a brush until the tangles were gone. It was some pretty effective social shaming. Mystery of stuff.